Ready to go? Good morning, welcome to another video here on this Esoteric Circle YouTube channel. Pete and Wanda down here at the uh, Menominee River on a brisk March morning here in 2024. Wherever you are at on your journey, blessings to you and welcome. Wanna read a little bit about just some of the definition of Esoteric Circle from my new book, Journey to the Esoteric Circle. It's on Amazon. P.D. Ospinsky, in his uh, essay, Esotericism and Modern Thought, really started this, my thinking process, about 10 years ago. And he says, the esoteric circle is, as it were, humanity within humanity, and is the brain, or rather the immortal soul of humanity, where all the attainments, all the results, all the achievements of all cultures and all civilizations are preserved. Okay, so that's the starting premise there from Ospensky. And I, I write this. The esoteric circle is a protective, singularly focused clan of homo sapiens whose cosmic job is to assist in the preservation of the psychological teachings of true humanity. These teachings are designed to delicately lead individual humans out of their feral condition teaching each of them the art of releasing personal and inherited karma and being twice born into its permanent deified state of salvation. So, you're wondering, what is this esoteric circle? You know, as our world, obviously, to me, obviously is descending into chaos, this chaos, evidently, is pretty normal in terms of the undulations of uh, humanity here on this planet. It's not uh, the first time that this has happened. And it's not the last time. But every time it happens, there's a core circle of people, esoteric circle, those members, who preserve the teachings. So that when humanity goes into barbarism, because that's what's happening here, and uh, Spensky talks about this in that essay, it's descending into barbarism. We see it all around us. And we, we see it in our politics. We see it all over the news. We see it uh, in, in shootings and gun violence and all kinds of uh, our inability to just have civil political discourse all over the place. We see it in individuals. We see it in their anger and their confusion and their fear. I see this. And maybe you see this. And there's hope. And part of this is realizing that you, if you've listened this far into this video, and if you're interested at all in this topic, you may be a part of this. It's not for everybody. This book isn't for everybody. This book is for those who say, yes, I've always known, I've always known that there's something different about me. And the point of all this is that you have to go inside yourself spiritually and on your journey and you have to clean your cup the inside of the cup as Christ says in Luke 11 you clean the inside of the cup for you don't worry about anybody else don't worry about conspiracy theories don't worry about this uh, don't worry about anything other than what's going on in your life and as you do this realize realize that you have a birthright that you're waking up to and your job is to get rid of this uh, inherited karma and this personal karma that you have built up in this lifetime and get to that place in your life where things are new and you're just not going through the motions of previous events karma is a big part of it and it's it's a big topic in this book we don't talk about that too much at church, do we? I had to pretty much leave the church to some extent to even be able to talk about this and find people like Ted Nottingham, Charles Ashton, Robin Amos, right, to say, what is this? And my own experience tells me that this is true. If you're interested in this, not only do we have a book, but we have an online group. So if you're interested in an online group that 
is a gathering of people for this esoteric circle who are going to help preserve the teachings of humanity as we descend into chaos and barbarism. Let me know. Let me know. Wherever you are at on your journey, you are loved and you are important. And you are important to this world. And your health and anything that you've ever been through, that matters. And being able to release that on the cross as we enter Holy Week next week, 2024, we reach toward Easter, this resurrection. This resurrection is for you. The cross is for you. Golgotha is for you. It's all about you. Christ showed the way, but you have to do the work. Blessings to you.